Hi everyone, in this work we aim to make use of both the text and image modality to classify crisis related tweets instead of using a single modality, as it has been shown that additional information from a different modality helps in boosting the accuracy of models. Existing work have focused on this task as learning image and text modality representations separately and then using different fusion strategies to combine the information from these image text modalities. We instead explore self-supervised models that are trained to learn image and text representations jointly. Specifically, we leverage clip and align models, which are pre-trained using contrastive learning techniques on vast amount of data from the internet. Clip has been trained using 400 million image text pairs, whereas align has been trained on 1.8 billion image text pairs. Our method is structured into two phases. Initially, contrastive pre-training, which is followed by task-specific fine-tuning. We directly use the pre-trained clip and align models, allowing us not to go through the expensive pre-training phase. During the fine-tuning phase, we concatenate the embeddings from both text and image encoders of the pre-trained models and pass it to a softmax layer for class prediction. We evaluate our methods using two widely used multimodel crisis datasets known as Crisis MMD and TMD. Crisis MMD has two classification tasks, namely tweet informativeness and humanitarian categories. Tweet informativeness is a binary classification task to predict whether a tweet is informative or not. Similarly, humanitarian categories task has five different classes and DMD dataset has a disaster classification task with six classes. Our findings presented on the right demonstrates our approach clearly outperforms existing techniques by showing higher accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 scores in predicting crisis-related tweets across all experiments and datasets. Remarkably, these models also excel in few-shot classification scenarios. The results obtained by existing works by using 500 samples of each class is achieved and even exceeded by just using five samples of each class using our approach. We visualize the image text embeddings of these models with respect to classes. We see some form of class-based clusters even without task-specific fine-tuning which explains their exceptional performance in few short learning situations. In summary, our research confirms that multimodal models developed through contrastive learning surpass existing methods in classifying multimodal crisis-related tweets. For comprehensive results and insights into additional experiments we conducted, we highly encourage you to go through our paper. Thank you.